What is up friends? My name is Hamza. I'm an IT consultant. I've been getting a lot of questions about Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. What kind of content it covers? Who is this certificate good for? Why even do this certificate? over a course like Udemy or some of the other certifications out there. And is this a good course for a consulting? Because as an IT consultant, I have some insight into some of these companies Google mentions on their website. And finally, do I recommend this course and who do I recommend this course for? So first, let's talk about why should someone who's looking to learn data and analytics pick this certification over some of the other courses that are out there. Number one reason is that Google has partnered up with over 130 US companies to create a employer consortium. Through this employer consortium, these companies are committing to hiring individuals with this certificate. So once you get the certificate, you'll be put in a pool and you'll have access to apply to all these companies directly. And they will be hiring for entry level positions. Through this program, you'll have access to some of these big consulting companies that are the really the industry leaders in this area. You'll also have the opportunity to complete a case study that you can share with the potential employers to showcase your skill set. Now doing case studies and having some sort of a portfolio where you can showcase all the projects you've worked on is really going to set you apart from some of the other people who have also have the similar skill set. The reason for that is that when you just have a certificate or just education, you need to be able to showcase how have you applied this in real setting. Something that people in the graphic design space have been doing for a very long time is they've been creating their own portfolios. And I see this movement more and more in the data space too, where people are building their blogs or having their profiles showcasing the types of work that they've been doing and even personal projects that they've worked on. So that's a great way to showcase your experience uh, to a potential employer. One way I'm doing this for myself is I have my own website, which I'll have a link down below, but also my friend uses a blog called Medium where he posts his blogs. And I'll also link that in the description. So if you wanna check out an example, what that's like. So what is this course going to cover? Oftentimes many courses dive right into the tools on doing SQL or spreadsheets or visualization, but they don't really step back to answer the questions that the business users would need. So in the, one of the courses in this here is ask questions to make data-driven decisions. So you'll be using some of those techniques to learn more about the data analysis process and You'll be working with spreadsheets. They'll also be teaching you SQL. SQL is structured query language, so you can query the data directly from databases and it's used for relational databases. Another course is data from dirty to clean. Now, so many times when we get data in the real world, it's not perfect. Analyze data to answer questions, share data through the art of visualization. And this is where you'll be learning Tableau, data analysis with R programming, and then you'll finally have your case study at the end. Now, R programming is really good for some of the very specific machine learning type of models, but at the same time, I'm surprised they're not using Python. Python is a very versatile language. There's so much you can do with it. I've used Python, not just for data analysis, but also for some personal projects like automating things or web scraping. So. It's a very powerful language that I wish they would have gone for because you can really start using it for other things. Now we've talked about why the certification is so good. We've talked about what the certificate has. Let's quickly talk about who is this certificate good for? So ideally if someone's already working in the IT field and they wanna go move into the data and analytics world, that's probably the best scenario possible. You already have the technical expertise in some of the other areas like maybe a business analyst, but now you want to gain experience in data and analytics field. So this is a great course that'll teach you all the basics that you need to get started. So that's gonna take you to the next step in your career. Another group of people this certificate is really good for is people who are currently working in other sectors. So let's say financial sector or healthcare sector. And if they get the certificate, that then they will not only be the subject matter experts in that industry, but also be able to analyze data and trends. See, the thing is, you really have to understand your industry and your business to make sense of this data. And 
just having the certificate alone will not give you that industry knowledge. Once you're a master in a certain industry and then you merge that with the technical skills that this, this course is going to provide, having those two together is really going to set your career apart from other peers. Now for people who don't have a college degree, well, you're in luck because Google has partnered up with over 130 companies for, through their employer consortium. So once you complete the certificate, you can directly apply for the job and you'll have a pretty good chance of getting it. I can definitely see a huge shift in consulting companies starting to hire people with this type of certificate because they can use them in different areas in the consulting company. So, so there, there are many different areas within a consulting company someone can work. So sometimes consulting companies, they work with a fixed price contract where, where some of the consultants might be client facing and they're working at the client site whereas the other people might be work, doing the work in the background. So these will be your delivery centers. At the delivery centers, these consulting companies typically pay a little bit less than the client-facing consultants, but at the same time, they can get a lot of work from, out of them. So delivery centers would be a great area where consulting companies would be hiring these professionals for. A lot of the external work would be when they're working directly with the clients. But there's a lot of internal work that needs to be done too. And that internal work would mean things like when for a company's operations to keep running, for staffing, how are the consultants being staffed correctly? So there'll be a lot of reporting around that. There's also market research and industry analysis that needs to be conducted. So some of these data analysts could definitely be performing that type of work. Now, some of my friends who are already doing an IT degree are wondering, should I continue with my IT degree or should I just drop everything and go for the certification? So there are definitely pros and cons to a degree versus certification. An IT degree is going to give you a lot more knowledge of the overall IT systems, how they work, because while the certification is cheaper and it's hands-on with data analysis and it's your own pace, the advantage that IT degrees are going to have over this is you're not just learning about the SQL and Tableau and spreadsheets. You're doing so much more than that. You're learning about the overall overall IT systems. You're figuring out how to actually design a database. You're working with relational databases. You might be working with unstructured data. And in, you're also gonna be learning a lot more programming and system analysis and design, all the different types of methodologies like waterfall, agile. Also, you'll be learning about networking and how is data transferred. So I still think IT degrees are very, very useful and they're definitely going to pay more than someone who just has a certificate and with a high school degree. So what do I recommend at the end of the day? This is a great course for someone who wants to get into data analysis and get a job in the data and analytics world. I highly recommend this over some of the other courses because once you have a certificate, you'll be almost guaranteed a job as long as you do a good job and you can showcase you've learned your knowledge and do some of the other things that I mentioned, like building a portfolio. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to just get started with data analysis and don't really know where, what it is, check out that link below. If you want to learn more about IT consulting, check that video out here and let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next and hey, Keep on being awesome.